Okay, 90% of runners are not fueling optimally, both before and during the race. But I promise you, if you get these things right that I'm about to tell you, you'll improve your race times by up to 20 to 30%. And I can tell you that with confidence because I went from not being able to run 400 meters to being able to run a three hour 25 marathon. But then when I truly understood nutrition and implemented it, I went from three hours 25 for the marathon to two hours and 21 for the marathon. When it comes to nutrition, there is so much misunderstood or so much misguided information. What do you eat before a run? Do you have a big meal because you want lots of energy? When do you eat it? Do I have gels even if I'm running a short run? I got this great question in the comments which helps me lead on to answering these exact questions. Do we take the same gels during tempo or easy runs as we do racing? Or just hard hill intervals, time trials, race pace stuff? And what are they for if it's during an easy or one hour tempo run? Just getting used to it in your stomach or improving your performance during training? Now, for me, the biggest point about nutrition is not to shock your stomach, shock your body, and have as few variables as possible on race day. So we always start from what is the objective? What is the race? What are we training towards? And then work back. If it's a race where it's more than an hour, you're going to need fueling during in order to make that an optimal race. And you can speak to people that will tell you for a 10 mile race, or a half marathon, they can get by without taking anything or just water alone. We can all get by if we train enough in order to run for two hours just on water, completely fasted. We can all do that. But is it optimal and will it take you to your fastest time? Absolutely not. And I've learned that from personal experience. So let's first identify the goal. Let's say that's a three hour marathon and we're trying to do that 13 weeks from now. So we got 13 weeks to do the training, to do the faster running, to do the long runs in order to prepare ourselves for that marathon, but also to prepare the stomach to take in the right level of carbohydrate per hour to get an optimal result in the race. But what is that optimal carbohydrate strategy? I worked with the top sports nutritionist in Europe and was able to go from taking in 37.5 grams of carbohydrate per hour to taking in 80 grams of carbohydrate. And the difference in performance, in training and racing was way more than going from zero grams of carbohydrate to 37.5 grams of carbohydrate. The ability to let the stomach take in more, but not just have it sloshing around in your stomach, but being able to use it as energy, get it to the muscles, propel you forward, is gonna make your race way more enjoyable and way faster, especially in that final third. What it's also gonna do for you is make the training easier so that you can push harder. It never gets easier, you just go faster. And so the best time to implement our practice of nutrition is when we're going fast and we're running fast on interval day or on tempo day or threshold day and on long run day. When we're going long and we're getting used to putting lots of gels in the body or lots of sports drink, whatever your go-to is for the race. And again, work back from the goal. What have you got access to on race day? If that's your, you carrying your gels, that's exactly what you're doing in your long run. If you've got access to drink during and you're gonna meet people along the way and they're gonna give you a bottle of drink and that sports drink, that's what you practice with within your long run and within your interval session as well. What is convenient for most people is to carry gels and that's the convenience of a, a small packet with 25 or 40 grams of carbohydrate. And that's exactly what we're gonna race with and so it's exactly what we want to put in the training, in the interval session and the long run. So first, identify what is your starting point? How many grams of carbohydrate are you currently taking per hour? If that's nothing, then start by taking a gel every 30 minutes and get the stomach used to processing that gel, getting it to the muscles as energy, so it's, it's working for you during the run, during the training and in the racing. If you're already starting from what I was starting from just a few years ago, one gel every 40 minutes, then try to increase that. 
and try to get from 37 and a half grams to 50 grams to 60 grams of carbohydrate to 80 grams of carbohydrate. And that eventually will look with gels, if you're taking a 25 gram carbohydrate gel every 20 minutes, then that's 75 grams of carbohydrate. And that's double what I was taking at 37 and a half grams of carbohydrate. And the reason I was taking just one every 40 minutes is because that's what it says on the back of the packet. That's how much of a newbie I was. But when I made that change and flipped to 75 or 80 grams of carbohydrate, depending on what I've got access to in the race, my performance skyrocketed, and it can do for you also. It's exactly the same with the breakfast. If you wait until race day to have your race day breakfast, because you wanna be optimally charged, ready to run as fast as you can, but you've done all your runs fasted, because that's super convenient, first thing in the morning, to run on an empty stomach and just go out there, part of that is great, because you're training your body to use fat instead of glycogen as a primary fuel source. But keep that for the recovery runs and easy runs. In the interval sessions and the long runs, use exactly the same breakfast that you're gonna use on race day. Get used to that and get used to how long before you need to take that breakfast for it to have the optimal, the best possible result for you to run fast or far so that you can implement that in the race as well. Now what I changed, and this might be useful for you, is I used to go with 100 grams of dry weight of porridge. And I would have to take that three hours before the race start. And therefore, I'd have to wake up super early in the morning in order for that to digest, to metabolize, and then to be able to run on an empty stomach, because you really want to be running light. When I changed that porridge to bananas and have five bananas blended in water, what I was then able to do is wake up way later and just have that an hour before I run. Metabolizes super quick, goes in, looks after the carbohydrate content that I'm looking for, but it also gives me lots of potassium, which helps with muscle function. Incredible change and gave me a lot better performance. Now, there's lots of things to consider there. But the main take home for me is we're trying to run as quick as we possibly can on one morning, on one day, but we're also trying to make that as enjoyable as possible. The stomach and nutrition is a big part of optimal performance, especially if you're going 10 miles, half marathon, marathon, or even ultra marathon. If you can get that right in your training when you're running fast and far, and therefore it gets to a point where it's not even a thought because it's so natural for you to do on race day, you're in a really good place and it takes away that headache. But what is your current fueling strategy and how can it change for the better in order for you to get stronger and faster in your racing? Let me know in the comments below.